Hi guys and welcome to another best possible squad build by myself, Bates and 87. This one, hopefully, will not get superseded by EA within two hours of me making it live on YouTube. If you guys know what I'm talking about, the Leicester City team was outdated instantly as EA released those hero cards. So, if this video hits over 6,000 likes, I don't see why it wouldn't guys, because this is a 191, the best possible, you can tell by the bench, the best possible BPL team. I will re redo the Leicester team um, before Friday. So you guys hit that like rating, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed to any of do loads of insane um, videos with these types of squad builders and also if you do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes go and check out g2a.com their link is down below use discount code b 7 get a bit of a discount off as well so guys 191 rated BPL team was virtually impossible until the team the season cards did enter the frame we got Dembele we have Arnautovic Lukaku Jamie Barley and Czech all making it onto the bench including the inform Hazard the uh, inform Fabregas inform Sanchez normal silver Inform Costa, Inform Rooney, and obviously Man of Match Toure. There is a lot more BPL players in the game as well, but it's only the high rated ones we care about. In the goalkeeper position, guys, we are going to go with one of the highest rated keepers on the game now. Uh, on the game now, sorry, and I think he actually might be. Um, is he the second highest rated? Yeah, he is. He is the second highest rated goalkeeper, uh, which is uh, David De Gea from Manchester United. In my opinion, the best goalkeeper in the world, but a lot of people don't agree with me on that. Everyone's got a different opinion. In the centre back positions, guys, we have some nice BPL defenders. Some of them holding their value very, very well. On the, the um, oh, I may as well sit up now. Uh, so on the right hand side, left hand side, sorry, do we do go with the uh, 86 rated Koscielny? As you can see, two team seasons missing out on Van Dijk and Morgan, and also Robert Hoof as well. Uh, so we're going to go with Smalling on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we are going to go with old, um, sorry, not old world, Koscielny. I messed up there, haven't I? Yeah, so Smalling, Koscielny, and then the final defender. The guys is the slowest of the three, which is all the world. But this defender is absolutely awesome. If you guys can get your hands on him before the end of the BPL team of season, really recommend doing so. He is a solid, one of the best team of season defenders I've used in previous FIFAs. Um, if I've rocked with a BPL team, which I've done a lot, uh, he would definitely be in it with, with Maldini, Smaldini, as I like to get him mixed up. So in the centre midfield position, guys, we move on to a lot of players. One, one has dropped down from a camp. First one is the Man of Match De Bruyne, a very, very rare card actually, if we're going to have a look at him on the transfer market. We paid 520 for him and he's been flooded, what the hell, there's loads of him. And this is quite late at night as well, which is very, very interesting. In the centre midfield position on the right hand side, we do go with Kante, updated dynamic picture as well. Best possible Leicester team, he makes it into there also. One of them is very, very defensive, the, well obviously they're very, very defensive with Kante and obviously with uh, our man De Bruyne, he is very attacking but does quite well at holding that centre midfield spot and got a decent shot shot on him as well. I think we actually had him turn around like that. In the right midfield position we go with one of the highest rated um, BPL players currently. 93 rated Mares, 93 pace, 94 dribbling, 80 physical, 92 passing, 92 shooting. Um, doesn't really get involved. This formation's a bit of a killer, guys, to be honest, uh, for trying to get players involved. And, yeah, if you're going to get him and you're going to fork out the money, which which you are going to pay for him, um, I would recommend we pay 900k for him. It's, it's not bad, actually. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. We've got, got it for 900k. I would recommend playing him right forward or right wing, definitely to get him more involved. In the left midfield position, guys, we do go with Team of Season Payet um, from West Ham. I was hoping he was going to come out as a cam. He would have been the second best cam in the game for sure, uh, but he's stuck at left mid. 85 pace for left midfielder isn't the best, but when he drifts on in, he's got a wicked shot. He's got decent passing, a brilliant free kick, if not one of the best free kicks on the game, and uh, 93 dribbling as well. So there's three more players going to go into the team, guys, to make it a 91 rated team. In the cam position, we go with Meza Ozil, um, 94 rated, obviously, one of the highest rated. I think he's the third highest. Is one more highest rate, so it goes 93, yeah, 90 or 94, 93. Yeah, there's quite a few high rate players, isn't it? I didn't even realize, well, obviously, to get to the 191 rated. So we got uh, Ozil as well, 80, 80 pace, 86 shooting, 98 passing, 95 dribbling, ridiculous. Very tall cam as well, pretty strong. Um, enjoy playing in with him, and then with the two strikers, we have got the best of both worlds. When I like rocking with two strikers, guys, I like going with the tall and strong striker. This is a better version of Van Basten. He is Van Basten, he is ridiculous, and I think he may be making 
and room for him in my super team. 83 pace, 95 shooting, 92 dribbling, 91 physical, and then we have the small and beastly little striker of 95 Sergio Aguero as well. Quite a rare little card on the market. 95 pace, 97 shooting, 95 dribbling, and four star skills as well. Brilliant team. This is one of the best BPL teams I've done in a very, very long time, but obviously, guys, it can't be beaten by highest rated, as this is the highest rated possible BPL team you can get on this FIFA so far. Could potentially change if De Bruyne gets a special card, if Koscielny gets a special card, but it's basically complete with all the team of the seasons in there. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like rating, smash up 6,000 likes for the revisited Leicester team already, which is pretty insane, and it's also changed formation as well, I must point, um, and obviously subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. Let's get into the highlights we did manage to get with this team and show you how good it was. So guys, on into the highlights, and most of the players we've used already, the likes of Mares, we've used uh, Mares, Kante, and I think that's it actually, we've not actually used the majority of the other players. But, one of the things which is going on this weekend is a lot of people are sweating FIFA out to make a lot of money in not only draft, but tournaments, online single matches, every game mode you can think of, everyone's playing it, and everyone's playing to win. Because, uh, if you've got the money to go enter into draft, and that's the best way to earn money, um, then obviously you're going to be playing games. Now, uh, individually speaking about the players guys... Um, I'm going to select three. These are the three players which are key to the team. The first one is Kante. He has been ridiculous. If you guys have played him in played with him in draft, you'll know exactly what I mean. Uh, a very versatile, strong midfielder with decent vision as well. Seems to be in the right place at the right time. Doesn't have really a good shot, but he does score a few goals for me. Um, Actually, in the 18 games I've played with him, he's got four goals and two assists, which is pretty good for a centre midfielder. The next clinical player, guys, is Old World. The guy's name I can't even say. Um, I've played eight games with this card, and he has... We conceded a few goals, I won't lie to you, because he's a free at the back formation. But he is absolutely rock solid in the air and on his feet. Positioning-wise, it reminds me of how team of season John Terry was, with a bit more pace. The next one, and this is probably a surprising one, is actually Ozil. I don't really get on with Ozil. I never have. I don't really like my, like my tall cams, uh, but he was absolutely godly. Um, in the uh, six games we played with this team, he got five assists, and uh, even though he is superhuman, he can miss opportunities like you just saw in the clips. Sergio Aguero is definitely one of the best clinical finishers I've played with on the game, but I never got on with Sergio Aguero. I don't know what it is about him. I just cannot get used to him, but I am going to give this card some time, and potentially, guys, you will see a lot more squad builders with him in it, as he's one of the highest rated players in the game now. So, guys, that has been a run down the three players everyone in this team is insane no complaints about them by the Paya and obviously Mara is not getting involved but that's definitely formation pending the rest of the team is sick if you guys have used any of these team seasons feel free to let me know um, if you reckon and I don't think you will guys if you can see a better rated BPL team feel free to tweet me but this includes every highest rated player in the BPL special cards and not so if you've enjoyed the video I like it and very much appreciate it subscribe if you are not subscribed already and guys we'll be back hopefully later on today with another video for you guys to enjoy. If not, we're back tomorrow.